Hello and welcome to the September 2nd, 2010 video version of Invested Central's Chart of the Day. I'm Tom Boley, Invested Central's Chief Market Strategist, and it's my pleasure to provide you today's Chart of the Day. This Chart of the Day is brought to you by StockCharts.com, simply the web's best financial charts. Today we're looking at PAET, Paytech Holding Corp. This is uh, better than a $600 million technology company. Taking a look at the chart technically, you can see that we've been drifting lower, actually been in quite a downtrend from uh, the latter part of April through early June. Since that time, though, we have been moving back up. We got back up to about $4.25, $4.30 back in early August. Took another turn down. Volume was just kind of so-so on this move to the downside. But notice on the way back up, coming back up to this 424 level, which is where we finished on Wednesday, that the volume during this entire move to the upside has been very nice. Also, the move to the upside has been going against the grain because, for the most part, the market has been moving lower. So we're seeing some relative strength in PAET. We're seeing some accumulation signs with volume being heavier. We've got a MACD that is now above the center line pointing straight up, so we've got a strengthening MACD. And uh, knowing that we had the volume coming in on Wednesday as we threatened this breakout area, also, I think it's pretty significant. We didn't extend the line over, but if you go down to the low close just before the May 10th time frame, you'll see we came down to about this 425 area. We bounced for a couple of weeks, and we came back down and took out 425 on some pretty good volume. So each one of these failures that we've seen has come at a very significant resistance area, and we closed right on it on Wednesday with some increasing volume. This gives me... Uh, some comfort that we're going to make this breakout. We'll have to see it first, but uh, it does feel like uh, PAET wants higher prices. The only thing you want to be careful about really is stochastics now getting up at 87, RSI is at 63, which isn't too bad, so it's got a little bit of room to run. I think what may happen is if we get this breakout, you can see we've got a little bit of gap resistance just below 440. I think actually this candle right here off of the big selling in early May the reaction high, which got up to 488 or so, uh, pulled back, and then one more push up to about 470. I think these two candles are probably going to hold back PAET if it can make this breakout through 425. So I think it's got a chance to run up somewhere in the 470 to 480 range um, in the near term. I think we could be very overbought at that point, and I'd be looking for maybe a pullback to maybe the 430 area after that. Um, but that's the way it looks. At this uh, point in time, we'll need to see some confirming volume on any breakout. So if you do see the stock trading up 430, 435, you're going to want to make sure that the run rate that day is on pace for probably about a million shares or more. Uh, and if that's the case, then I would expect that we'll see higher prices on PAET in time. Eventually, I think we're going to go back up here to the April highs and test the uh, 525, 530 area. I hope you've enjoyed our presentation today. Be sure to check out our chart of the day every day at investedcentral.com. While you're there, sign up for our free weekly Market Pulse newsletter and have the chart of the day emailed directly to you. Happy trading.